today I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about photography, camera gear, and creativity. First thing, let's talk about camera gear, cameras. I have right here in front of me, well, I'm holding it up in front of the camera. I have the Fujifilm X100F. This little camera right here is a great compact camera to have. And I don't even know if it's really because of because it's a Fujifilm camera. When I got it first got into photography, I was looking for a camera with the form factor of the X100F. I say it really doesn't matter if it was Fujifilm because I have another camera, which I'm gonna grab right fast. I have this camera right here. This is the Olympus EM10 Mark III. This was my first camera of this design, a camera that kind of looks like a film camera. I was looking for a good camera with this body design. Looking back, what I didn't realize is that with this camera, the EM10 Mark III, this was a great camera to have at the time. I love this camera, that's why I haven't gotten rid of it. It's a great camera. I like using this camera because of the form factor. I like using this camera because of the form factor. It really doesn't matter that it's Fuji. Most cameras, you can tweak the settings in the camera to get a look that you're going for or just edit afterwards. So the whole film simulation thing isn't really the main draw. And I'm just thinking about it, just reflecting on using this camera. I took this camera out for the month of September and I enjoyed using it. I enjoyed the simulation that I put into it. It's a simulation that I use in different various types of ways, or I guess I tweak the style of the film simulation that I'm using in this camera. But for the month of September, I decided to just use one film simulation, which I will be sharing with you as I share the photos that I've taken. Now the photos that I've taken aren't, I would say, very artistic. They're creative for me. They're just a way for me to step out of the day to day and enjoy a hobby of mine and that is to take photos of my environment. And that's what I did for the month of September with this camera. Just took it out to take photos because I just, kind of fell out of the practice of taking photos for the purpose or just the point of taking a photo. And I wanted to challenge myself and be creative at the same time, and that I did. So I wanna jump in here and tell you about a software that I use to color grade all of my videos and have been since I believe February, maybe a little, maybe a little before that, but I've been using it for the majority of the entirety of 2023 great program, use it all the time. I use it in DaVinci Resolve and in Final Cut Pro when I do use it. If you're in the market of finding a software or program that can help you color grade your footage to get a filmic look or some type of creative style, I would definitely recommend you check out Dehancer. The link is down in the description, but I just wanted to jump in here and share that. It is software that I do use uh, all the time. I like this camera. I like the way it looks, the way it feels. It's nice and heavy and uh, stylistic. That's the main draw. This is a, a, a pretty, this is pretty camera. It's pretty much it. And it's really been inspiring me to get out and shoot photography again. How I used to shoot with my phone, which then I graduated to the, to the Canon cameras that I have. And then I got this one because I wanted that actual real tactile feel in the digital camera. And eventually I'm gonna take this camera back out, which I haven't done in a while. I like this camera. <laughs> I would love to get another uh, Olympus camera just to you know, have this entry level version and something that's a little more high quality. But yeah, that can produce high quality. Although I think this camera does uh, produce great great photos. So second camera that I want to talk about outside of the rain, you know, these two cameras that I already mentioned is the Fujifilm X-H1. Since I started really posting on this channel, 
I feel like the content creation process has pulled me out of taking photos. It, um, you know, I, I kind of got more into talking about the camera gear than actually talking about creating photos. And I, I have some content where I talk about videos and maybe some photos and also uh, shooting real estate photography, which I shoot professionally. But this camera is more so the hybrid version of, or the hybrid portion of the content that I wanna create, and that's creating videos and photos. So for this month of October, I'll be taking out both of these cameras, the X100F and the X-H1, just for the sake of creating. I do take these out when I'm out with friends and family and just try to capture things just to capture it. But I don't capture when in with any intent. Just I just capture just to capture. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with these two cameras for the month of October. Creating with the tent, with intent, and just you know, go out and try and create something, but just do it just to do it with also creating. I'm talking to circles, but the creativity part is I want to highlight the film simulations that I do use in these cameras. A shooter that I shoot with, you, that typically uses the X-H1 when we got to shoot, uh, we went out and shot an engagement. I shot the video, she shot the photos with the Fujifilm X-H1. I dialed in a film simulation in the camera while also uh, giving her the option to shoot raw. And the film simulation that I, I dialed in she really liked once she got the photos out and ended up using the JPEGs over using the RAW. And it is a film simulation that I typically use in the Fujifilm X100F. One of the simulations that I use that I tweak and I created it, I dialed it into the X-H1. She liked it, which gave me the idea to create a series around photography, going out, shooting what I like to shoot, while testing out the simulations that I have and then sharing those simulations with you all. So with that said, all the photos that I shot in September, I'm gonna go through them, see what I like, what I didn't like, and I'll share them all with you with the simulations that I did use for the month of September. So that's the creative piece. Actually going out, creating with what I have, pulling myself off the hamster wheel of buying gear and creating content around it, but using the gear that I do have and being creative with it. But in this playlist right here, I cover more about the specs on both of these cameras. Do check those out while staying awesome. Stay awesome.